I'll give you the secret to the best compliment on the planet. It's three parts. Number one, you already know it. And I know that you, this is what you did. You <coughs> provided me with number one. It's give the compliments sincerely. I do believe that you all meant your compliments sincerely. I believe that. It isn't enough sometimes. Number two, back it up with a reason. Tell them why. Don't just say, you like the way I'm dressed. Well, I know. I dressed myself. Great. Don't say, Joe, I love your shoes. I know. That's why I bought them. Tell them why. Because it goes great with your outfit. Or your, your outfit's nice and contemporary, or it flows, or it's sleek, or it makes you look good, or whatever it is. Now, again, but back to your appearance, you know, the way you look. For me, for my body build, I don't buy regular size shirts. I buy the athletic fit. Because the other shirts look ridiculous on me. Right? And you're naughty because you probably do the same thing. You're bigger, more athletic, and stronger than I am, so I won't argue with you today. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you've got to take care of yourself and do that. So number one is what? Give it, sincerely. Give it sincerely. Number two, back it, back it up with a reason. Number three, which almost everyone on the planet forgets, ask a relevant question. Ask a relevant question. Now, I promise you this is a very important thing to do because it takes the limelight off of the compliment. Because if you said, hey, Joe, what was your first compliment, Sherry? Um, you look really nice today. I look really nice today. Okay, now tell me why. Okay, so it matches well up and it fits well. Now ask me a relevant question. Where did you get that shirt? Perfect, right? Now, if I have a low self-esteem, I'm no longer thinking about how my outfit looks <coughs> on me. Now I'm thinking about where I got my shirt. Joseph A. Bank. If you want expensive shirts, go there. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous, right? But it takes the limelight off me, because that's the challenge in accepting compliments. It's usually one of two major reasons. Number one, we don't think we deserved it, so we don't want to be in the limelight. Or number two, it's just our job, right? How many times has your boss given you a compliment and said, hey, nice job, and you were like, well, it's the job I was supposed to do. That's why you hired me. That's, so it's not a compliment, right? You don't even feel that as a compliment. So when you ask a relevant question, you take the focus off the compliment, and you get people thinking and appreciating it. Now, I had someone in New York City tell me that this backfired. I said, no, 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 no. This never backfires. She said, all right, here's the examples. Number one, I gave the compliment sincerely. I said, I love your hair. I said, good. I said, number two is what? She said, back it up with a reason. I said, what was the reason? She said, well, you said you wanted to try something new. This is something new. It looks great for you. I think you took a great risk and it turned out perfectly. I said, great. Great reason. What's number three? What was the relevant question? She said, have you tried something different? <laughs> is that relevant? No. no. It was relevant to the conversation because here's what happened between number two and number three. The woman said, you know what, I really don't like my hair. It's taken really, a really hard time to get used to it. I don't like it. So she said, have you tried something different? That's why it backfired. She should have backed it up and said, you know what, no, I really like that you went out uh, on a ledge. I really like that you, you went out trying something new. What inspired you to do that? Did you see it in a magazine, or was it your own awesome creation? Right? Instead of saying, what made you do that? Crummy answer. Crummy question, right? What made you do that? Say, what inspired you? Or where did you see this great design or new style? See how that makes sense? Mm -hmm. See how it takes the limelight off them, gets them to focus on something different? That's the way to give the best compliment on the planet. How many of you have a challenge of receiving compliments? What, what, what's this? Alligator arm thing. <laughs> Stick your hand up. Stick your hand up high. Let me see. Let me see. All right. Can I be honest with you? Yes. May I? Mm -hmm. It's a self-esteem issue. <clears throat> That's all it is. It's a self-esteem issue. Because they're giving you a compliment. You have a hard time understanding it, appreciating it, accepting it, because you haven't come to terms. You haven't come to terms yet that you deserve it. It's about your self-esteem. What happens, how do you feel when you give someone an amazing compliment and they deny it? They say, oh, no, 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 don't say that, or I don't like these shoes, or these shoes cost $19 at Payless, I don't like that. How do you feel when someone does that to your compliment? Awful. Awful, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm trying to say something nice to you, and you just destroyed, like, you broke rapport with me, you disagreed with me. Don't do that. Find a way to agree with it. Whether you appreciate compliments, accept them or not, it's about self-esteem. So if you have a low self-esteem, we have a resource that'll answer that for you. A couple other ways of doing it are just say thank you, just accept it. Make the other person feel good even if you don't. 
Charismatic people find a way to graciously accept compliments. You did this to me earlier this morning. I asked you about my communication style, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I said, tell me about the way I communicate to you. Now, nobody said anything negative or mean. You all basically gave me compliments. And I said, thank you. I said, oh, I appreciate that. I said, oh, that's wonderful or that's beautiful. Thank you. That's all I did. And I know all this stuff. I ask that question every seminar I do. Not for me, but for everyone to understand that what you're doing is you're complimenting my body language, not my tone or words. And so everything flows. We bring it all full circle. It's a self-esteem issue. I don't have it. And that's why you've noticed I'm able to easily accept it. If you are able to accept it, you realize you deserve it. Give other people the same self-esteem that you wish they gave you. Accept it graciously. And number six, lastly, is smiling. Go ahead, one, once again, put a big smile on your face. <laughs> Just because you can. Put a big, no, bigger. Bigger smile. All the happy people find this really easy to do. All you miserable people, put a big smile on your face. <laughs> Fake it. Have you ever learned, fake it until you make it, right? Act as if, if you lie to yourself long enough, it becomes true. <laughs> Isn't that true? You know, I know people who look in the mirror every day, they wake up and they go, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. And every day they say, I'm dumb. And guess what they begin to believe? They're dumb. Or people say, I'm skinny, or I'm fat, or I'm overweight, or you can see my veins. That's why we believe that crap. Start saying better things to yourself. It is the power of positive self-talk. I don't think it works all the time. But if you do lie to yourself long enough, it begins to become true. So smile more. Other people will think you're crazy or ridiculous or confused or whatever. But most other people will smile back. And we love people who smile. What do you usually do if a total stranger walks by you and smiles? Do you usually smile back at them? Yeah. Right? Hello. Yeah. And maybe you even say hello. But what do most people do when they're walking around? Yep. Right? They don't even look. I look people right in the eye and I say, hello. <laughs> and it sounds weird right now, but guess what response I get? Hello. hello. It's about smiling. And notice this. Four out of six of these are body language, two are tone, none are words. To be charismatic and influential, it's not about the words you use. It's about how you do what you do with your body and your tone. So there are six components to charisma. Choose one right now. Take a look at it. Which one do you want to improve? Do you want to have more energy? Do you want to make sure you're matching? Guys, maybe it's your belt and your socks or whatever. Do you want to take care of yourself more emotionally, more physically, more intellectually? you want to read a little bit more books? How about being more well-spoken? That's part of why you're here, too. You know, maybe it's accepting compliments or smiling. Choose one. Don't multitask. Choose one and circle it now. <laughs>